Hello everybody, Atticus Gamos here, also known as Sketching Creations, and t today we're resuming Delta Room. It's been a bit, huh? Of course, last time we beat Chapter 1, we beat the Spade King, we returned home, and Chris performed an impromptu cardiovascular surgery on themselves. And today we're going to continue on and see what happens next. And of course, as I probably said back at the beginning of the series, you've already seen me play Chapter 2 on this channel. You've been following me for a while. I played it when it first came out. Well, this is the last time we're going to do it, unless, I don't know, something of interest happens that makes me want to replay it again. Anyways, I've, I've yet to ever resume a save file indirectly like this. I don't know if it's going to work like that. Here's the legend. I can't do the gaster voice. I shouldn't even try to imitate that. So right, back in chapter one, I was in Fall Two. So I'll be using from Fall Two here. Will it? No, oh, no, it won't. Shoot. If, 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 I, if I hold on, if I put in the name I put in last time again, will that work? Will it recognize? Shoot! No, wait, 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 wait. Right, okay, I'm back, sorry. Yeah, so, uh, since last week, I learned where the Steam notifications were. They're in generally the same place, but the new Steam UI is a little bit weird. But, like, seems to give me a little trouble opening it. Anyways, that aside, I think, do I just select this? Oh, here we go, yeah. So this is how you do it. For a, for a second, I thought I was going to have to uh, re-battle re the Spade King again. But no, it's right here. Right. Actually, continuing now. How many minutes has it been since this episode started? Jesus. Right. Continuing. Chris. Chris, honey, are you awake? Wait. Is that a, a knife? Chris, did you eat all the pie? <laughs> of course. <laughs> this is what I said last time, but of course. Of course the entire time the knife guff was just about the pie. <laughs> it is your knife in this empty tin, is it not? Did I say last time that I have my own knife? I do have a knife that I favor when cutting meat in the kitchen. However, I don't know where it is right now, because it's packed away in a box. Oh, Chris. I'm going to have to unlock the oven again. Am I going to have to unlock the oven again? Well, hurry out of bed. It is time for school. Ah, uh, Chris. Insatiable desire for pie. And so, we're back in our room. I forget if anything changes here. Chapter 2. Closed drawer. I think some des descriptions here might get more succinct. It's your bed. If you go back to sleep, you may miss a lot of important things. We go to bed. No. You can sleep in class. Yeah, I know the feeling, man. Yeah, you if you if you use this bed right now, you can just skip past the intro to the chapter, but I'm not gonna do that. It's a full proper playthrough. It's a birdcage. When the door's closed, there's no escape. We know that from experience. It's stained. No elaboration still. It's five dollars in your brother's drawer. Take it. Nah. It isn't yours after all. Change. Underneath the bed is an old cartridge of Cat Petter's RPG. Caddy and Caddy can be seen faintly written on it in a worn gel pen. <laughs> yeah, I know about borrowing games from people in the neighborhood. I may not have ever returned one of them. On the computer's desktop is a folder called Epic Game Stuff. It's a poorly drawn design for a game. I think the last boss is a creature with giant rainbow wings. Nah, it sounds like a terrible idea. It doesn't seem like this game never saw the line today. Yeah, time to start talking like Wheatley there. Now, yeah, house music. A cactus. There's not much to say about it. How to draw dragons is at the bottom of the drawer. Oh, that's where we put it, huh? The purple character on the cover is dressed immodestly. Your brother will never ret return this book. No, oh, Azzy. I won't tell anyone on, on your interests. It's what they call you, supposedly. Doors locked. Just checking for different flavors. I don't know, remember what's changed at all in hometown. 
No time to read books, just generally. <laughs> Chris does not like reading books, they're just like Chugga Conroy. Alright. Go and wash your hands. It's not yet time to wash your hands. Oh, okay. I think you can do the toilet flush gag again from chapter one, but I think maybe Toriel's not here this time. Just occupied one and just leave. The shower ledge is the center. On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple scented shampoo, and a gallon sized container of pet shampoo. Can't examine the window. I looked at the, at the spreadsheet for this room, by the way. That window is kind of interesting. Of course, I already know why it's interesting, but you know. Some white fur stuck in the drain. There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. But no Asgore. Some cinnamon battery taken the stove top. A bit left over from last night. Cookie cutters are gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. The trash can. Somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral scent still. My phone. You already have a cell phone. It's Cherio, the beloved living room chair. It's a TV. Looks like it's plugged in, but it's dusty. Someone plugged it in last night, apparently. Or maybe it was more. Maybe Toriel plugged it in. It's a book of hymns. Alright, that hasn't changed at all. Well, shall we go? Go we shall. Rolling underneath the car. There's no fancy musical cue this time. Chris, there you are. Chris, there you are. I have to remember the voices I did. Chris, there you are. Even Susie showed up before you. <laughs> yeah, she did, huh? Well, very prompt. <clears throat> hey, Chris. If I knew you were gonna be late, I would have show wouldn't have showed up on time. Well, so that reminds me. I have something to t tell you after this gets part of the cutscene here. S Susie, please don't kick your desk. Treat school property like you treat people. Yeah, okay. Next time we aim for the vitals. <laughs> You're very funny, Susie. That's not what I... In any case, good morning, class. We have a lot to go over today. First, we're starting the reading from page 142, not 394. Any volunteers? Um, I guess I could be the... Ah, uh, trouble yourself not, Noel. I will valiantly take this blow of humiliation. Of course you will. Uh, that's okay, I can... Ahem! Page 142. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Times are pretty good, times are pretty bad. Mediocre times, iffy times, so-so times. Where is this voice? I don't know. Listening to this, your eyes began to close automatically. Have a nice day, everyone. And but please remember your group projects. Oh, um, Chris, are you, you okay? You were um sleeping all class. D don't worry, I'm not mad. D just concerned. Now, no lie, I actually experienced this once in real life. Like legit, I fell asleep in class, but apparently I was so tired I started snoring, and the teacher just left me beat off concern. Usually you only sleep through the start. <laughs> You're very cheeky, Alphys. Hey, good luck and rest well tonight, okay? Alright. Now before I, t I, t I talk to Alphys again, let me just say... I figured out how to fix my problem with the audio. Now last time, I, I had to wear my headphones, which ha have had a slight audio delay. But now, I fixed that problem. And, and, you know, the solution was really, really stupid. I have two monitors, and the second one has an audio jack on the back. And I was able to switch that to being the primary audio source so I can use my earbuds, which don't have to delay. It's really stupid. If, if, there's, if anyone techie out there wants to explain it to me, you, you can feel free to in the comments, but like, that's just really kind of dumb, I think. So I presently have my earbuds plugged into my second monitor. So I have to be careful not to bend my head back too much, otherwise I'm going to knock the whole screen over. Alright then. Yeah, Chris, this whole partner thing, you didn't lose sleep over it, did you? Actually, my sleep quality increased. Huh? Chris, that's... um... good, I think? So maybe you were just... staying up late talking to Asriel online again. 
Uh, wait, you can't do that, right? I, I hope the internet gets fixed soon. I don't want to revert to, to my primal form. Yeah, it is modern society trying to live without the internet, man. Chris, get a good sleep tonight, okay? Also, if you didn't talk to Jawas at the end of chapter one, before transitioning over, you talk to her here, she'll be more concerned because she didn't hear from you after you vanished. Anyways, it's a bunch of roses, probably from Asgore. Looks like some motivational quotes from various literature. Try your best, Astral Wolf, even in your darkest hour. That one seems to be from a video game. That hasn't changed at all. The computer wallpaper is updated. We can see it from this behind. The buff and brazen heroes are now edited to be four inches apart. There's a dialogue about proper distancing at the school dance. Now, is this a Tony Twenty reference, or it is just like Toro doesn't like buff and brazen heroes? You wonder if your mother had some influence on this change. Yeah, I wonder what the real reason for that edit was. Toby being a G Joe. You check the time. It seems to not be time for class. So what happens if I try to call Toriel right now? No one picked up. It's just not home yet. Hey, Suze. <laughs> well, look who it is. The school zombie. I, can't. I have to remember to not do the harsh voices as much. It's going to kill my throat. <laughs> you were sleeping like a little corpse all class. Heh, <laughs> what's the matter? Had trouble going baby by last night? <laughs> Me too, Chris! Like I could sleep after yesterday! Guess wedding for today felt like years! Actually, it was only four months, Susie. Did did all that stuff really happen? That's a roll say everyone. Are they still never caught there? I don't have a drink with me. Look, you've been wondering the same thing, right? Come on already! It was a mistake not to get a drink before starting this recording. Uh, I'll make sure to get one in between episodes. Alright, Chris, this is it. Moment of truth. Everything we've been waiting for is just behind this. If we uh, open this and there's nothing inside, well, uh, we still be. Uh, screw it! Let's just open it already! <laughs> um, t Susie? Uh-oh. Busted. So by the way, something people always reflect on is like, in Noelle's dialogue portrait sprite there, like the jagged bits underneath her head are supposed to be her hair, but I always see it as her shoulders, and like, Noelle has no neck. I can never unsee it with the uncolored sprite. <laughs> yeah! Noelle, hey. There's a girl next door. <laughs> and what the hell are you doing here? Um, sorry to bother you, but, um, I... Well, I, I just... Bertley and I were going to the library to... Do some research for our group projects, and... If it's okay, um, would you want to come too? We still don't know what this group project's about, by the way. Oh, Chris, you can come too, I mean. Study buddies. Uh, I mean, we're like, uh, busy with, uh... Chris, help me out here. What do we say? Crime. You know, just committing crimes. Just gonna do some crimes and go to jail. Forever. It sucks. <laughs> Oh, um, well, uh, that sounds, um, just... Have fun, you two. I'll, um, be at the library. Chris, if you could bring her by later, it would mean a lot to me. Sure thing. Um, actually, wait, wait a second. Susie, I, um, I have something for you. Eh. It's okay, see you, bye! <laughs> Susie's face. It's a lunchbox full of chalk. She had chalk the whole time. <laughs> yeah, apparently she did. Maybe yeah, let's look in the let's look in the bright side. Maybe yesterday the chalk was at home and she brought it today. She and I didn't give it to Alphys. What the hell, Chris? Where the hell are we? Here, you hold on to this. 
You got the chalk. Yeah, okay. Wait, Chris, what the hell was that? Also, that only happens if you tell talk to Noelle and talk her, tell her about the chalk at the end of chapter one. Why would Noelle ask me to do homework with her? Death was much? Does she want to fail? Wait a second. Wait a second. Chris, did you notice how nervous she was? And like, blushing and stuff? Chris, you don't think she, uh... She's onto her secret identities! So her eyes turn white and her shock spikes, even though they're yellow normally. You know, this Dark World stuff. Damn, we gotta keep this under wraps, Chris. This is our thing, you know? Yeah, sure it is, Susie. You filed a copyright and everything. No others allowed. And it was enough waiting already, right? Let's go! Bling. Superhero transformation. People have, made, people have made cool animations based off of that in time since Chapter 2 came out. There's that one person who does the Delta Room smooth animations and it made the sequence look a lot cooler. Right then. Let's see, do you notice know Chris's eye there? I should have slowed it down for you and pose so you can see. Anyways, now we're in this place, which. Hey, Chris, uh, you really gonna walk everywhere so slowly? I know you're kinda, uh, t taking it in, but you can run, you know? Yeah, I know, Susie. Remember something about the X button? I know, Susie. I'm gonna run with shift instead. No, I hate running with shift. It, that's dumb. <laughs> Same as ever were. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Uh, uh, Chris, Susie. And he still hasn't put his hat back on. Uh, it's been ever so long. Oh, so he might be wearing a different cloak in this chapter. Some people think he's wearing a distinctly different cloak. For me, I think it could be magic, possibly. It's been ever so long. Yeah, yeah. It's been, what, a day? Oh, that is short, isn't it? It's just that I've never had friends before. So I've never waited so long to see them again, either. Technically not incorrect. Fine, guess we'll try not to let you die of loneliness. Matt Lance, I want to see us too, right? Where is he? Mm -hmm. Hey, wait a sec. Mm -hmm. Where is Lancer? Mm -hmm. Where's everybody? Uh, uh, Worry not, Susie. You'll see them in a moment. Uh, uh, Just wait here, alright? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, this better not be some kind of prank or something. Uh, uh, Chris, I have something to ask you. I need you to return to the light world and go to the old classroom to the east of the closet door. Inside, gather everything on the ground and bring it back here, could you? Okay, but how do you know, know about how the school is laid out outside of here? Uh, darkers, aren't supposed to be able to leave the, darkers aren't supposed to be able to leave the dark world intact. It looks like a shop, but the door is locked. No one's inside. So, question mark, item bag, weapon, and... This is a safe point. You look upon the castle you first saw yesterday. You're filled with the power of immediate nostalgia. And it's created a save file again for some reason, even though we continue from level one, never from chapter one. Perhaps in between chapters, Chris did something and saved on their own accord. Interesting. Yes. Or he saved a different save files apparently. Interesting. Was that always like that? I don't remember. Also, kind of. Reminds me of the Super Mario RPG's save load screen. Okay, we're in the second file. The other one's my personal file. I'll see this for chapter two. How are you going? Trying to have cake without me? <laughs> yeah, he said, all those files, my personal file. Go over here. The rubble on the ground seems to have been dusted and polished. Someone around here really cares about the details. It's probably what I'll say. He would dust the pavement. Walk over here. Anything new with the dummy? No one's looking. Hug the dummy? Yes. You hug the dummy. Nothing wrong with a little extra flight for this in your life. By the by, by the Rosé plush today. This door. 
seems to be locked. It may never open again. Someone's really bad at designing doors around here. All right, all right. We will. We shall leave. Do as Walsai says. In the magical beam of light, like Ocarina of Time in the grottos. Whoosh. Where is back here? It is, it's probably immediately send you back again if you interact with it right now. Door is locked. You can just walk over here. This seems like the way to the old classroom. <laughs> now the ga game itself is stopping us from being, being truant, I guess. That's not the right term, is it? Gathered all the junk off the floor and turned it into a giant just dusty ball. Don't sneeze. So Chris sure is talented with balancing things in their head, huh? Amazing balance. Managed to cram everything into the closet, even the rug. Should've taken the rug, man. Doors locked. The rug really tied the room together. Okay, but first, before we go back in, you go this way. Hello. How is Chris doing? They're great, Tori. And one of my favorite students. A real star. Oh, how wonderful. They have not been up to anything strange. <laughs> no, they've been... Hi. They're normal. Well, that's who's relieving. I've just been a little concerned lately. You should be. J just lately. <laughs> Cheeky Alphys. You take it easy too, Alphys. I am always cheering you on, alright? Uh, uh, thanks. Can't let Mom find out you're balancing a giant trash orb. But also... Oh, excuse me, I seem to be receiving a phone call. Chris, what is it, Tony? What? You are normal. <laughs> Could you explain what you mean by that? It could, I think, I think it's probably different if you call her before the conversation. Chris, don't give the phone to me. <laughs> no, you are going to the library later. Well, thank you for telling me this time. Have a nice time. It's supposed to a bad time. But actually, though, I'm kind of curious. Can I quit? Get to, hold on, I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay, so, what if we call right now? Oh, excuse me, I seem to be receiving a phone call. Chris, what is it, honey? What? You made a trash orb. <laughs> what? Could you explain what you mean by that? Chris, just don't give the phone to me. I wish I hadn't even seen that we're here yet. Oh, you are going to the library later. Well, thank you for telling me this time. Have a nice time. She in the text box shows up to over there. Hi. You're normal. Toyo's got some tunnel vision going on right now. She can't see us standing over here. In the corner. You don't worry about the library. You can kind of see her there, actually. She, she, turn, she turns to her right to answer the phone. She just totally see us in her peripheral vision. She's too focused, I guess. Alright, then. We're going in. Woo! Hey, Chris, so where is every... One... Magic. <laughs> Guess who's back, clowns? Lancer! Oh, oh. Hey, Chris, don't know what you did, but hell yeah. Everyone's here. But, uh, what happened to, uh, Lancer's castle? All gone. Gone. Right. When Chris sealed the fountain, that dark world disappeared and turned back into a normal classroom. But how do you know that we'll say? So where's Lancer gonna live now? Don't worry, Susie. We'll just we'll conquer Rosey's castle as our own. You're very funny. Chris, as you bring Dark World Denizens back here, the power of our fountain will transform this town more and more. From now on, the enemies we spare 
will be recruited to our town. I built a little town here, very nice. Colony 6. So let's keep sparing enemies, okay? Anyhow, why don't we all have a look around? You head north towards the castle. I have a special surprise to show you there. <laughs> now if I surprise myself first! Last one there is a fresh and fragrant egg! I like eggs. Come on, Chris. You gonna let, you know, let him beat us? Yes, actually. Alright then, Hathi and the cabin person just walk off. Anyways then, so there's a lot to see here, which we already saw last time, but just pretend we haven't. I'm gonna go over here first, though. There's a hole in the wall. There's nothing inside. Oh, it's quite a wonderful town, really. Thank you. So, why am I alone here? A bit of self-reflection, I suppose. Do I do realize I was quite a coward before. So, I wanted to say, well... I STILL AM! Like cards, I cannot handle society. For now, I'll be living at the top of this cliff. When I'm ready to meet society again, I will be back. Thank you, thank you for the wonderful home. I will not use it. Mood. Alright then. <coughs> Over here. The folks go to rules. And there's a book here now. It's a manual. Read a topic. C controls, recruits, item storage. Now, of course, I already know about this. You don't want to hear me read all of it. You can go back to the original playthrough of Chapter 2. I will just skim recruits, though. You spare fast by enough enemies at the same time, they will be recruited. Recruits will appear in your town. You can check the areas recruits as the save point. Certain bosses are excluded. Alright. The town council of town is transformed from the power of friendship. You are filled with the power of friendship-based architecture. Very nice. One more thing, though. I want to go to this shop first. Sell the sword on it. This is the item bag. It's a party dojo. This was a question mark, now it's Bakery Top. This is in, now it's a cafe. Let's go in here. Look who it is. Hee <laughs> hee. Welcome, Travels. It's Tom. So we are here now, in the new world. And right off the heels of defeating that clown. Incredible. Yes, it took me quite a bit to defeat that clown, as you may remember. Oh, what's that? It seems like he gave something to you. That's right, you must not have noticed it. Actually, I did. I'm pretty sure I checked it in my inventory. That crystal is nearly invisible, but you've been holding it, it this whole time. Here, I'll take it off your hands and appraise it. Incredible! Do you think he had a shadow crystal? Shadow crystals, so called, because you can only see their shadow. It was like water in the hand. <laughs> Call it a premonition. I get the feeling you may find more of these. Yeah, we sure are. If you continue to defeat strong adversaries like him, that is. If you can gather more shadow crystals, bring them here. I'm sure I can stitch together something incredible for you. A Pokemon Max Revive. See you again, or not. <laughs> so did he actually take it off of us? Yeah, he did. Actually, hold on. I'll do that real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, so... Crystal. Sharp shadow moves like water in the hand. You have collected one. You held the crystal up to your eye, but nothing happened. Only once per. You have the glow shard. Dark. Two. Three dark burgers. Both revivements. I managed to save both of those very nicely. A spin cake. Heals a heart of 40 HP to the team. I believe that number amount was changed. Club switch. Sandwich is split into three. Heals 70 HP. I think, also, I think this is 30 before. This spin cake was like 70 or 80. That's changed. Rules brew. Dark brew with delicious aroma. Also has worms in it. Or light candy. White candy with a chalky texture. It will cover 120 HP. Chalky texture. Mm. And cell phone. You try to call him the cell phone. Nothing but garbage noise. <clears throat> Different description text. So can I? So yeah, storage. I'm going to put away the glow shard. And is there anything else? 
Now put away the revivements. I don't need them right now. Put those away. They got to save those for later. Is anything else I want to put away? I think I'm good in that front. It's recruits. Got all the folks of Chapter 1. So we have all the mantras here. The Darkness recruit in Chapter 1. You know, you can check them. They have descriptions. Rudin. Said to be someone's best friend, but maybe not. Shine on you, Lazy Diamond. I'm not gonna get the whole thing as you can pause read if you want. Heart with a big heart. Always supporting eyes with their bro bullets. A single organism that takes one life one square at a time. A real dust bunny. Known to play dirty, but loves to play clean. A, sh a shape changing fighter. Ironically, blocking is not its forte. A Christ hears with joy that you are its boss. Obsessed with ranger shows. It lets everyone know it's better than Rudin. Show off. A little stronger than Hathi. He seems to have fewer, fewer friends. You got element and stuff. The element's a real questionable thing. Alright then, you know what though? I'll cut it off right there. There's a bit of fumbling around and it gets to work again. Alright, so next time, we explore our new castle town. So until then, my name is Akers Gauss, from Skip Creations, and I will see you then. Thanks for watching.